Hi, my name is Kristen and I am a Norwegian American living and working in Seoul and loving every second of my life here and I want to show you how you can do it too. So first, first I'll show you a little bit around the office. So this is an area that you can go sit outside and work in the office. And so yeah, it's pretty casual here, you don't have to dress up to work. So yeah, this is a part of Gangnam and right over here I get a cool view of um, one of the Joseon King's tomb. So we're just, uh, just like casually a tomb across the street from where I work. So by the name we usually walk down that street. Then I'll show you a little bit of the inside. So if you want to go to this side, then you can see this area is also a work area, like the outside. Um, this is the fourth floor, but on the second floor there's like a more traditional office area. But um, yeah, so since I have a first startup company, I have a very like, Amazonian um, culture. I feel like having like, an office and you kind of like, just like feel like going to work for me a lot. So usually there's bean bags in this area, little cubicles that I'm going to sit in. Yeah, so it's pretty relaxing. So here's the outside area I was just in. Here. And then over here we have a little like um, kitchen thing and then like a bunch of different kinds of like recycling and trash. And you can see it's written in English and Korean. Then there's this machine here that like you put food compost in and like apparently like turns it into like sand or something. It's really cool. And then here is like a chill room. Beautiful flowers. You can play darts. Darts over here. Yeah. Korea is pretty cool. Classic Korean darts. Go outside. So, to talk a little bit about, yeah, how I like living in Seoul and, um, yeah, so I love living in Seoul. I was living in Seoul last year. Um, also working and I'm back this summer for another three months. And um, yeah, I think in order to understand why people love Seoul so much, they need to just come here and experience it for themselves and the beautiful life they can have here. So what I do here, I do PR work. I've worked in PR for um, a little over a year in the past while I was at university. And um, also in my last job in Korea, I was doing some PR work. So yeah, I'm working for Wispace right now, doing English PR. I studied Korean for one year in university, though I wouldn't say that I could um, speak on a business level in Korean uh, at all. So to get a job in Korea, being a foreigner, of course it's easier and, and you get probably promoted to a higher status if you speak Korean, but I'm, by all means, it's not a total necessity. Um, it's better just to have a degree in um, a field that they're really looking for people here in Korea. So. I'd say computer science and the technology realm would be really beneficial if you want to live in Korea and work, um, get a non-teaching English job, work more on the business level. Of course, um, there's other jobs in the business realm, though I'm saying from my experience, um, last summer I worked in Gangnam as well, but not on the technology side like I do now. Um, and I'm 
I think the technology side is really nice. Um, the culture of the company here is really good. Um, and yeah, my, my coworkers are awesome and I'm excited to share with you more experiences I had and how you can have it too.